Wisconsin and Leon, federal authorities say 63,000 undocumented children have come into the United States, come across the U.S. southern border, and been apprehended since last October. When they come here, those children need help, and some local agencies are struggling to keep up. 17-year-old Sandra is one of thousands of unaccompanied minors who have come to the U.S. this year. Today, this Guatemalan immigrant is applying for help at Mary Center, a nonprofit social service organization that, in Sandra's case, is offering health care. I feel healthy at this moment, but um, I need the vaccines because otherwise I won't be able to go to school. Mary Center has seen 500 kids this month when its doctors would normally see less than 10 in that time. Their exams are running around $800, more than twice their average exam fee. It's costing the organization $690,000, money it says it hadn't anticipated spending. Well, we want to make sure that, that the federal government understands that even a federally qualified center like this does not have the, the means to take on this many children at one time. According to the Federation for American Immigration Reform, undocumented immigrants needing medical care cost the federal government $6 billion per year. They say the system is being overloaded by an unanticipated influx of immigrants. Governors, local county officials, education officials, they're not being consulted at all except to be told, hey, people are here, you're going to have to deal with it. There will be a vigil held here tonight at the White House to raise awareness to this issue with the hopes that federal authorities will reach out and help these agencies dealing with this crisis. Reporting live in Northwest Washington, Suzanne Kennedy, ABC 7 News. Thank you, Suzanne.